So tonight we're going to be looking at a little bit of a different topic. We're going to be talking about mash bills and specifically the mash bills offered by Buffalo Trace. To start out with, what is a mash bill? A mash bill is essentially what makes a bourbon. It's the specific level of uh, corn and wheat or rye barley that goes into making a particular bourbon or whiskey. At Buffalo Trace, they have four primary mash bills. They have uh, what's known as mash bill one, they have a mash bill two, then they have a, uh, a rye mash bill, and then also a weeded mash bill. Uh, the difference between mash bill one and mash bill two is that mash bill two has a little bit higher rye content than mash bill one. Uh, mash bill one is uh, what you think of uh, would be like an E.H. Taylor, a Buffalo Trace, the actual Buffalo Trace bottle itself, uh, Eagle Rare, those are all Mash Bill 1. Mash Bill 2 would be something like Blanton's or Ancient Age. The An example of their rye Mash Bill would be like the Sazerac, the Baby Sass 6 year right here. And then the weeded would be like your Pappy Van Winkles and your Wellers. And here we have a Weller Special Reserve. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to actually walk through the four, see if I can figure out some of the flavors, the different characteristics between the different mash bills, and see which one I kind of gravitate towards. Not all weeded uh, mash bills at Buffalo Trace are the same. This Weller is not the same as a, a Weller 107 or as one of the Pappies. E.H. Uh, e. Taylor isn't necessarily the same as Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare or even some of the other uh, uh, higher-end E.H. Taylors. Uh, the genesis of this video was uh, one of you posted a comment about uh, Blanton's and the differences that uh, that you found between Blanton's and just and the cheap Buffalo Trace for, you know, it's sometimes hard to get, but it's still fairly cheap. So that was kind of the idea behind it. Uh, so thank you for that comment. Uh, it kind of uh, spawned uh, what we're about to uh, we're gonna we're gonna do here. All of these bottles I just opened. Uh, I've had obviously Blanton's before, and I've had Sazerac before. I've never had any E. H. Taylor before, and I've never had any Weller before. Not true. I had Weller in New York that one time, but this is the first bottle that I've ever had and opened. Um, I did use brand new bottles, so they all literally just got opened for the first time. So as we get ready to get started, one of the things that uh, that you'll find as you start getting more and more into different bourbons and you start to learn more about different mash bills that different distillers use, you start to be able to pick out uh, characteristics in those flavors. Once you know a particular mash bill of a bourbon, you might say, oh, well, I probably am going to like that mash bill because this other bourbon I love has a similar mash bill and a similar age, so maybe there's some similarities there. It's not always true, but it's something to uh, to definitely keep in mind. So these are in order, so let's get them mixed up. It's good enough for me. <laughs> let's get started. T smells just like Buffalo Trace. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm... Actually, I'm not am I? On. So I'm pulling this out as a reference. Wow, that tastes so fruity tonight. It's weird. So you guys ready for Christmas? I don't know if this video is going to get posted before Christmas, but we're getting close. This is very fruity. I let a lot of kind of floral, potpourri. It smells really good. I'm getting a lot of herbals. There's kind of an underlying syrupy sweetness. It tastes kind of awry to me. We'll see. Ooh. A little bit of nut, some strawberry, strawberry, red fruit, cherry, kind of banana, a little bit underneath that. This is a very mild nose. Just a hint of cherry, more of that oak. Just very subtle oak, a nice sweetness and fruitiness to it. I'm getting some good oak on that one. Some cherry sweetness, very mild, easy to drink. Ooh, very caramel on the nose. Wow, that's really sweet. That's just easy drinking. A hint of spice to it at the back on the finish. Some caramel sweetness up front. Some good vanillas. That's very tasty. Actually, all of these are really good. <laughs> In the past, I've always kind of said about Buffalo Trace. I was like, eh, regular Buffalo Trace. I don't love it. 
it's okay. I like Eagle Rare quite a bit. And so I, I shouldn't be surprised that the Weller and the E.H. Taylor fit right in. Because these are all very, very good. A lot of cherry and oak. Really strong bourbon flavors. Wow. That one's really good. It's got this like nice balance of sweet to cherry to oak char. Just all mixed up. And just like the right combinations. It's really tasty. So I think I have my rankings done. But let's go through and see which one we think is which. So I think this one is the Sazerac. It's it's very pretty distinctive. I think I'm pretty confident on that one. That one I think is Weller. I'm gonna have to put the Blantons over here and the E. H. Taylor over here. I don't know if I got it right. Um, this one was pretty hard. The only one that I think I'm pretty confident on is this one. But I think that uh, the Blantons. Okay, the way I broke this down, this was quite distinctive as a rye. It, it definitely had some of those, a lot of those rye spices and rye forward flavors. Um, this one was different than these two. These two were fairly similar. This was distinctive. So these two are more alike than, these two were more alike than this one. So I gave Weller this one. And then between these two, it came down to uh, which one was smoother. I don't know much about E.H. Taylor. I haven't had it before, but Blanton's always has that kind of very smooth characteristic. So I gave Blanton's to this one because it was the smoother of the two. So how'd I do? I hope I did okay. Now let's rank them. All right, in fourth place, I'm gonna have to go with Sazerac Rye. It's not that it's bad, it's just not, it's good. These are all very, very good. I could easily sit down and drink any of these four bottles for an entire night night after night for a week straight and love it. So um, very, very pleased with that. But uh, number four goes to this one. Number three goes to this one. Number, wait a second, how did I have it? This one. See, these are the kind of production problems that I enjoy. That's really hard. Okay, these two are extremely hard to judge because this one is has this really sweet note to it that I really, really like. This one is smooth, but it has an oakier taste to it. I don't know. They're good. Um, I'll give second place to this one. And first place to this one. see what we have. Number four, Sazerac. Okay, I think I had that one right. Uh, in this competition, it stood out, and maybe that's why it got last place. It stood out the most from the others. Uh, in a right competition, maybe it's going to do a lot better. It wouldn't surprise me at all if I put four or five rye side by side and I gravitated toward this one because I do really enjoy this and I drink this all the time. So fourth place is not an insult by any means for Sazerac this time. Number three is Weller. Special Reserve. I hate saying this again. Third place isn't bad in this competition. Again, I would. This was really good. I liked it a lot better than. Uh, I thought this one was going to stand out as the one I didn't like, um, but I, I liked them all. Uh, number two, E. H. Taylor. All right. So that's a good first uh, first competition for E. H. Taylor. Uh, it's really good. I mean, I get why it's so hard to find. Um, even here in Virginia, it's I'll camp out for two hours to get this bottle. It's what it takes to get it. And it's good. Uh, very good. Which, this one better be Blanton's. Yeah, okay. If it's not Blanton's, then something's wrong with my competition. First place goes to Blanton's. Um, I'm, uh, you know, my standard is claim worth Blanton's. I'm not a huge Blanton's guy. I like Blanton's. It's tasty. Obviously, it won tonight. It was really hard between the E.H. Taylor and the Blantons to choose. I kind of wish the E.H. Taylor would have won. Just because it's, here in Virginia, it's the more special bottle. I can get Blantons probably once every two weeks. I can, you know, get to a store early enough when it gets delivered and, and get a bottle. So it's hard to find, but it's not super hard to find. E.H. Taylor is very hard to find here. And so I was hoping this would be more special. 
it's not a letdown by any means because it's really good. Um, but to know that it takes so much effort to get this bottle, I mean, damn, it's impossible to get this bottle. And it was third place, so what am I complaining about? The, between the different Buffalo Trace mash bills, uh, mash bill two won tonight. Uh, mash bill one uh, finished in second place. The weeded mash bill was in third, and the rye mash bill was in fourth. Uh, it'd be interesting to kind of do a little bit of a comparison between uh, within mash bills to see, you know, if I if try the E.H. Taylor, the Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, uh, maybe some others from mash bill one and see which of mash bill one I like. It might be a good fun way to go. I like to end my videos by holding up a bottle and smiling and saying, find a bottle you love, but honestly, these are all really good <laughs> and I don't want to knock anything over. So uh, tonight we'll just say, uh, until next time, find a bottle you love.